try to be normal humans again. Well, we went and saw the sharks, and the sharks were very cool at the Mandalay Bay. And played blackjack, played a single game of blackjack. And then we basically just packed up and went to dinner with our friends who are in Vegas. Um, we went to Sake Rock, which is an experience. And you can probably just cut to the video of it now without any further explanation. And then we went to Sweet Raku, which was a like kind of Japanese style dessert place that had these super crazy, fancy, adorable, and not in any way heavy uh, desserts. That was really good. And then we went to the Las Vegas sign, which was way smaller than you would expect. It's like just a normal sign, just hanging out on the road. We left at midnight Pacific, got here at 6.30ish uh, Eastern. So it was, the flight wasn't too long, but we got no sleep. So then we got here and immediately just went to sleep and everyone's like, no, you should go get breakfast. And we were just like, mm -mm, no, we're not doing that. It is now 1230. We're gonna get badges and breakfast maybe? city in the middle of all things. Washington Huggers. Oh, okay. Oh, so, you're from Washington? Yes, ma'am. State? Yes, ma'am. Spokane. Oh, very right, cool. Yeah, because we're in Seattle. I know. I, like I said, I watched all of your videos to prepare to come here, and I was super stoked about it. 
you and guys are the reason I was prepared. <laughs> so what, what, like, what did you take from them? Because I, I, I never really know what people... Things to bring, things to wear, things to understand. Um, realizing that it wasn't going to be completely as overwhelming as I was expecting it to yeah. be. I've been to PAX. I haven't been to a board game convention before. I think PAX is way more overwhelming. PAX was... I had headaches by day one. Because it's like... Loud and Correct. there's way more people. And this is laid back, and I mean, it's gamers, it's board gamers. Video gamers are get out of my face, I'm playing a game. Board gamers are hey, sit down, come play a game with me. Yeah. Um, I got the uh, boardroom and sat down, put the cone up, and made seven new friends that one night. That's and everybody's awesome. like, let's exchange our information, and we'll hang out because I'm here till Tuesday. This is your first con? First con. You were by yourself? Uh, my buddy Charlie's with me, but he's playing in a okay. Catan tournament. But cool. So I'm just kind of wandering by myself, having a great time, but you guys are the reason that I was prepared. That's awesome. And are you going to Gen Con? Uh, no. Just Origins. I, I'm a retired disabled vet. I have troubles traveling. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So once a year's enough for me. Yeah, and this is a little more chill than Gen Con. Very much so. Yeah, Gen Con is out. Oh, get him away. Oh, bumped yep. into you. Yep. Now I have the flu. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but today yeah. is awesome. I ran into you guys. I'm super stoked about uh, that. Thank you. Thank you for getting me prepared. I really do appreciate <laughs> yeah, you got it. Through the exhibit hall, we saw a couple of things. Level up dice, easy roll of dice, and some cool dice. I bought the horror toolkit for our fate, and I saw Ken Height and talked to Derek was fangirling. Uh, talked to Contessa folks and Lone Shark folks. Talked to a bunch of our friends and you know partners and stuff for Gen Con.
at the hotel. Hi, Derek. Hello. Wave. Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. And it is 1 a.m. I'm done uh, editing last yesterday's vlog, so I'm a day behind. Maybe I'll catch up tomorrow. I was hoping today would be an early night, but it is not. Today, there have been some unfortunate reports at origin of um of of like sexual harassment or shitty men's behavior towards women which is really just straight up disappointing um you know women being followed and th inappropriate things being said to women if those things were said to me it would make me feel incredibly unsafe um and scared and um isolated so you know, I just wanted to say that if anything like that happens to you at a convention, there are people here that will take action and that will make you feel safe and provide a place for you. Um, so, you know, if something like that happens, report it immediately to the show office. You know, get as many details, give them as many details about what happened as you can and description and names and stuff like that. And um, I don't know if, you know, my Twitter handle um, is in my in the description bar of this video. So if I'm at a convention that you're at and you feel unsafe, like tweet at me, direct message me, something like that, and and I'll come find you. We can group up. We'll make this a safe space. Um, to people out there that are watching this that are not women, and that are not <laughs> affected by this, you know, try to watch out for this type of behavior. Call out men that are doing this kind of stuff. Um, provide safe places for women and don't be a dick. So that's all dramatic and sad and serious. So let's talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to watch the Pride Parade. It goes right past the hotel and Marion has a view of the street. So we're gonna hang out and have food and uh, watch the parade go by. And I think that's gonna be really fun. And... No other further plans yet for tomorrow. Derek has some meetings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so tomorrow should be fun. I'll find some things to do and I will keep you guys updated. Good night.